Hey, what is up guys? It's Amory from SGT and I am finally back with another video. This video I'm going to start off with the Nova Launcher Part 4. If you haven't seen Part 3, Part 2 and Part 1, I suggest you take a look at those. Um, so it takes a deep dive into Nova Launcher. If you've never used Nova Launcher before, it allows you to customise your phone to how you like it. And there's a lot of settings within Nova Launcher, so that's why I'm breaking it down in different sections for you. So the section that we're going to be looking at today is going to be the look and feel options. So let's hit up our settings and go into the look and feel setting. So the first one that we want to start out with is the icon style. And um, we'll go in here and let's start with the first option, which is icon theme. Now in here I can change, I've already downloaded a few different icon packs just from the Play Store. Um, I will show you what that looks like whenever I change. Let's say for example I go to Wycons, you'll then see in a second, if I go back to my main screen, that that automatically then changes all of my icons to this nice white, plain, simple looking um, background. Now. As you can see here, Argos hasn't really fitted in with the icon theme pack that I've got here. And there's a few things that I've learned over the past few weeks with uh, the settings in here. Now, as you can see in the icon theme at the bottom, it says auto gen. And it says then generate themed icons for apps. This theme does not cover. So I automatically thought that that was going to change the likes of this Argus icon into the white looking background that, as you can see, I have here. But it doesn't seem to work for me. If you guys have got it working or if I'm doing something wrong, let me know. But the only way I know how to fix this is if I tap on the, sorry, if I hold my finger on the Argus icon and tap on edit. Then what I do is tap on the actual icon itself and then it'll give me a list of my icon packs. I'm going to tap on icons and this should then give me, there you can see, um, now that one should actually be the Argus one. I don't know why it doesn't automatically pick it up for me, but if you guys can figure that out, if I'm doing something wrong, let me know. So that now you can see that that has changed the icons. So if I go back into the settings, back into look and feel, I'm going to change it back to marshmallow because I feel that for this tutorial purpose, it works a whole lot better. So as you can see, my icons have changed again. Now, if we go back into the look and feel setting, back into icon style, we can change the actual icon shape. So I can tap on flower and that should, if I come out of there, that should automatically change. There you can see the icon pack then has changed to this little flower shape. Again, the only way that this works for me is if I have another setting switched on within this setting. So if I go back into look and feel, back into icon style, I need to make sure that this option, reshape legacy icons is switched on. Now, again, another setting that doesn't seem to work too well for me is this adaptive icon animation. Wiggle icons during the drag and drop process. So if I was to click on this, that to me should be wiggling about, but it doesn't. So again, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but it's not working for me. So if I go back into the settings, back into look and feel, and back into icon style. Um, we've got a another option here, which is prefer legacy icons. So att attempt to bypass adaptive and round icons. This may yield inconsistent results. So if I switch this on, um, you can see that my Facebook and my calendar, Bitmoji and Chrome doesn't have the flower shape anymore. So I like to keep that option switched off so that it all looks uniform to me. So if I just turn that off. Then the last option within this setting is normalize the icon size. 
So basically it scales large icons down to match material guidelines. If I switch this off, I will show you again, it just doesn't look uniform. So there you can see that the icons are all different shapes and sizes. You can see that Etsy one looks a lot bigger than Evernote, so on and so forth. So I like to have that setting, go back into look and fill and back into the icon style. I like to normalize the icon size so that they all are the same size. So that's the first setting within the look and feel option. Now let's go to the next option, which is screen orientation. So the easiest way for me to show you this is if I force it into landscape and go back into my main screen, you can see here it now changes the whole layout of my phone into the landscape. So, I mean, I think this would be pretty handy if you were doing work or writing up documents on your phone. I don't usually do any of that on my phone, so I'm just going to force it back into portrait. So back into look and feel and screen orientation. Let's just force it into portrait and you'll see in a second that changes it back into portrait. So that's that option. If we now go back into look and feel and look at these two options here, which are animation speed and scroll speed. So your animation speed is um, the speed of the animations whenever I am coming in and out of my applications. If I want to, you can see I've slowed it down quite a bit, but I like to keep my phone quite fast and nippy. So I'm going to adjust it to faster than light. So it basically forgets the animations and makes it fast. I like to keep it on that. And then for my scroll speed, I also like to keep it on faster than light. You can adjust accordingly if you want to slow things down a bit. If you're maybe struggling with the touch sensitivity and you think it is too quick for you, then you can definitely slow that down within the look and feel option in Nova Launcher. Um, so the next option that we are gonna go to is the app animation. So what I need to do is adjust the animation speed back to the Nova speed so I can actually show you what this looks like. So when launching an app or returning to the home screen, I can get this to give me a different animation each time. So what we'll do is we'll tap on the slide left and if I go to open Google Chrome, you can see that has a slide left option. If I then go into the look and feel and back into, oh, wrong setting, app animation, and do the pie-like setting, and click on Google Chrome, you can see that changes the animation coming in and out of it. So you can, again, play around with this and see what one best suits you. The next option is the pop-up menu. Now, the pop-up menu is whenever you hold your finger on one of your applications, that is the pop-up menu that you see. Now the X button that I've got here removes it from the home screen, but I can put on some more options. Let me get Chrome back on there again. Um, and go back into the look and feel option and back into pop-up menu. So what I can do is change the look of it. So if I change it to pills and just make sure I hit the done option, You'll see that this looks a bit more cleaner. There you can see that looks quite nice. Um, so if also I have the I button here where I can disable the app or uninstall the app. And you can adjust these settings by switching a few things on and off within that menu there. So that's the pop-up menu. And the next thing is drop targets. Show uninstall app info and edit buttons while dragging and dropping the icons. Now, again, guys, I don't really see this option whenever. Yes, if I hold it in, it shows me that option. When I'm dragging and dropping, it doesn't give me that option. So I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or I've got the animation speed too quick. But um, you guys can tell me if that makes a difference to you. Uh, the next option is show undo bar, which is quite good. 
So allow undoing for a short period after removing a desktop uh, item. So say for example, I remove my Chrome bar, or sorry, Chrome icon. You can see here, I then have the option to undo that. It's quite a handy option. If you hit things by mistake, you can adjust it back to the normal look and feel that you want for it. Um, okay, so next option we have is show notification bar. So show and hide the notification bar while on the home screen. So as you can see, I've got it switched on and you can see at the very top of my screen here, you can see that is my notification bar. I can see all of my notifications in there. I can switch that off to make it a bit cleaner looking. So if I turn that off, you can see now that disappears, um, but I can still get it if I drop down my um, finger from the top of the screen. So next option that we have in look and feel is uh, the transparent notification bar. So disabling this makes a notification bar black, black white on home screen. So if I turn on my notification bar, you can see that that is a black color that I'm getting rather than the other more cleaner look that I had going on. So let's just do a transparent notification bar because that looks far nicer. Okay, so um, again, another option you can use here is use dark icons in the notification bar on the home screen. So you can see at the minute that my um, notification bar is all set to white icons. If I change that and go back to the home screen, you can see that changes it into a darker look for the icons. Look and fail, let's go to the next option, um, which is app search background color. So I can uh, go in here, change it to green. And again, in the advanced setting, I can make that the perfect color that I want. Let's go with oat just for tutorial purpose and go into our app drawer and click on the search uh, search bar at the top, then you can see that that automatically changes that color to that oat color that I selected. And back into look and feel again. And I can also change the search window corner radius. So if I swipe this right down, you'll see the difference in the search bar. It just looks like a clean lined cut search bar. But if I want those rounded corners, go back into look and fill and then back in to corner radius and I can adjust that accordingly. And you can see here, once I do that, that has got that more rounded look to the search bar. So that was part four of Nova Launcher, the look and feel option. So if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. If you've any hints and tips that I've maybe missed, then throw them down in the comment section below. And until next time, guys, you've been watching and listening to Amory from SGT. Peace.